All right, everybody, how we doing? We got Heat Knicks game four. I am here to give you a betting preview for this game, looking at all of the different NBA odds for this game. Again, game four, Heat Knicks. I've got a betting preview for you guys. Looking at Odds Jam, looking at the Odds Jam line shopping tool, that just shows you where every single sports book is pricing a play at. Looking at the Sharp Sportsbooks, identifying value, let's get into it. So to talk about the series as a whole, real quick, the Heat took a two to one series lead on Saturday. Now they play game four at home with the chance to go up three to one. Obviously, the Knicks are going to have something to say about it. They didn't look really that great at all. They Honestly, the Knicks haven't looked good pretty much all series. They were able to close out game two at home, but obviously Jimmy Butler didn't play in that game, which is a pretty huge deal. So because of that, Heat are massive, massive favorites in this game. Heat are best offered on the money line at minus 167. Granted, that is at a small sports book in Colorado called SBK. If you are watching this and you are in Colorado, I would recommend taking this bet, actually. The minus 167 is pretty good. The reason why I think it's pretty good, just look at where all of the sharp sports books price it, right? That's what I mean when I say line shopping, identifying value. Pinnacle, minus 179. Bet online, bookmaker, minus 175, minus 183. Circa, minus 182. So as you can see, pretty good outlier compared to the Sharp Sportsbooks and much better than what you are getting on any other regulated sportsbook. But I don't want to spend too much time on that because not a lot of people here have access to SBK, so not very helpful for them. What is helpful for them is the spread. We see heat minus four or minus four and a half, depending on where you look. Now, whenever I am line shopping and looking for value, the first thing that I do is I look where the Sharp Sportsbooks price it, and then I see where I can go from there. So let's look at all four books. Pinnacle, Circa, Bookmaker, Bet Online. What do we see? Every single one of them has the heat at minus four and a half. Now, Bet365, which is legal in much more states, has this at heat minus four. That half point difference might not seem like a big deal, but it actually is in the grand scheme of things and over the course of time. Sure, if the heat win by five or more, then it doesn't matter. Or if the heat lose by win by three or fewer or they lose, then again, it won't matter. But when you when you place enough bets, it matters enough for you to understand the importance of it. I, I've, I've told this example on this YouTube channel before, but I'll say it again. Game two, I had Knicks minus six and a half. Guess how many points they won by. If you guessed six, you were correct. I barely lost that one. And at some point, I did see some people that were able to get it at minus six. So trust me, it does matter in the long run. So for this one, we are riding with the Heat minus four. I personally like this play as well. Obviously, we're betting here based on the value, not how I personally feel about a play. But I do like the Heat in this one. I just think that the Knicks have too much trouble scoring. Brunson hasn't been able to get going. Randall was horrible in game three. Maybe he bounces back. I just think that they have too much trouble scoring. And the Heat have a cheat code that the Knicks do not. They have Jimmy Butler, and they do have a lot more shooting around him as well. But at the end of the day, when the Heat have trouble scoring, they go to Jimmy Butler and he just gets fouled or he hits something. So kind of the cheat code there. So we are going to go ahead and ride with the Heat minus four in this one. Speaking of Jimmy Butler, I did have a player prop that I liked as well in this game. Jimmy Butler over 1.5 made three pointers. My favorite thing is that Jimmy Butler doesn't shoot at all in the regular season. Then he starts shooting in the playoffs and suddenly becomes a sharpshooter. It's something that happened. It's seemingly every year with Jimmy Butler. Then he's had games like game four against the Bucks, where he just went off and hit a bunch of tough three pointers. So plus 190 odds. I'm sure not calling it Jimmy Butler actually a sharpshooter, but for plus 190 odds, I think that this one has a lot of value, right? Plus 190. Look where every other sports book is pricing it. Plus 175. Every other book in the plus 160s. Bet365 is giving this to us at plus 190. So this is going to be my official player prop for this game. Jimmy Butler over one and a half made three pointers, plus 190 at Bet365. And we're going with Heat minus four, minus 110 odds at Bet365 as well. And that's it. So appreciate everybody for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And have a good one. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Below are all of my different social medias where I post picks and plays daily. Make sure to hit me up there. Also, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as I'm constantly putting out new videos to learn how to make money sports betting. And that's it. So thanks for watching and have a good one.